Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, and this is your free daily Forex video for Tuesday, April 6, 2010. A quick reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you've established a proven track record of success on a demo account. As trading conditions are always changing, please make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Well, uh, we continue to see very little action across the majors uh, following the long Easter weekend, waiting for Europe to get in in a few hours. And from there on out, we do expect volatility to pick up. Uh, economic data out of the U.S. came in better than expected. The only currency that uh, lost uh, some ground was the dollar against the Japanese yen. Uh, currently looking at the euro dollar trading at 134.94 trading just a touch higher our uh, first level of resistance will be at 135 followed by 135.50 above that we'll be looking for 136 136.30 and 137 support is going to be found at 134 followed by 132.80 and 132.50 our first level of resistance, or rather support on the pound dollar is going to be at 152.51, followed by 152, 151.30, 150.50, and 150 even. Our first level of resistance will be at 153.20. That should be broken today, followed by 154. That's our second level of resistance, and followed by 155.50. Looking at the dollar Swissy, we do expect the dollar to continue losing ground, looking at 105. 80 as our first level of support, followed by 105.50, 105, 104.40, and 103.70. Our first level of resistance will be at 106.20, followed by 106.80, 107.20, and 107.50. The 106.20 level is very, very close. If uh, we do break that, we uh, anticipate the 106.80 to be very close by. The dollar yen trading at 94.34 right now. Our first level of support will be at 94, followed by 93.60, 93, and 92. Our first level of resistance will be 94.70, followed by 95.40, and 98. Quite a f quite far away b above the 95.30 level. So if we do break the 94.70, 95.30 level, we'll uh, perhaps look at a more closer. Um, price action to determine where we're going to um, put the next level of resistance above 95.30, between 95.30 and 98. Uh, until tomorrow, if you'd like a more detailed analysis with potential trade opportunities, please join us in the members section. This has been Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com free daily Forex video for April 6, 2010. Until tomorrow, good luck trading.